Hi, I'm Teresa Palmer. Hi, I'm Stephen Cree. And we are responding to your thirst tweets uh, for the last season of A Discovery Witches. I don't know what this means. You're gonna have to explain this to me. Like, damn, I'm a total simp. Like, absolute simp. <laughs> Hell, I'm a simp, girl. Teresa Palmer, did I say I was a simp? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Google that quickly. The guy, the, the kids on my street, the kids on my street called me a simp recently. Someone who does way too much for a person they like. An example, I bought her a car and a whole ass house and we're not even dating. <laughs> there you go. Simp. simp girl. Good morning to Stephen Cree only. Yeah, good morning to you and no one else. Yeah. Teresa, have a wonderful day and week. Dan, I actually am having a really good day. It's my day off and I'm having a really good week. So I really feel you. Thank you. I hope you have a great day too. Good nothing to add to that. That was just entirely sweet. I can't wait until Teresa Palmer is 20 years older and looks like a hot middle-aged woman. Feeling, you know, <laughs> what's vibes? What's vibes? <laughs> yeah, makes you feel really good though, because I already feel middle-aged. For someone to say that they can't wait till I'm even older. I wonder how many kids you'll have had by the time you're middle-aged. At least four more. What's the world of records for the oldest person who's ever had a kid? I don't know. I don't know, but you could, I... You I could, could aim for that. I could maybe aim for that. Not to sound sexist, but hubba hubba to this photograph of hashtag Stephen Cree as hashtag Gallaglass, hashtag Witchmas. A D O W. <laughs> it's just because of the wig, though. <laughs> Steve Cree gets the best wig of all the characters in this show. It's actually nothing to do with me. It's the wig. In reply to Stephen Cree saying he cried through Love Actually, this is my go-to Christmas movie. I'm glad you like it. Stephen Cree crying, sky so sexy. Imagine, imagine you saw me crying in the wig. I mean, that would be kind of like wig porn or something, I guess. Actually, did you cry in the notebook? I cry very easily at uh, anything. Like, and I cried in the notebook, definitely, yeah. At Teresa Palmer, everyone, including me, says we love your dresses and have been aware of Poet, my daughter, wanting her dinner, meaning breastfeeding. But once you're in those layers of clothes, how do you manage to fit into a loo to pee? Well, I couldn't be very dignified. So I actually just had to come very close with my dresser, Alex, Conti Lewis, little shout out there. She would come with me. She would come and I'd have the door open. And luckily I only usually used to save number ones for work. Um, and she would be in there with me while I pee. That's better than as actual in Elizabethan London where people would just lift up their layers and pee on the street. Uh, you know that Gallo Glass is tattoos of Diana. Are you going to keep them in a permanent way after the show. The answer to that is yes. I've actually got uh, a tattoo of Diana, also Teresa's face, uh, across my ass cheeks. There once was a lad, Stephen Cree. His sharp tongue flew, furious and free. He flexed mental muscle, wanting hair like Kurt Russell. A true Scot in the city will see. <laughs> that is very good. <laughs> oh, but I'm, I'm liking the, the little limerick. Uh, there, and it's true. Uh, I absolutely would love to have hair like Kurt Russell. I think I might have referred to that on Twitter or something. I can't remember. This is a mega Very fan. clever. Yeah. Wow! Exclamation mark. <clears throat> Stephen Cree, Matthew Good, and Tom Hughes all together. Wait. I think I had a dream about this once. I had a dream about that once as well. And we had to change the bed sheets. Which is particularly <laughs> weird since I was in the dream as well. Diana quickly bonded with Gallo Glass, it seems. What a surprising relationship. Hey, Mrs. Stephen Cree, did you bond with Teresa Palmer when you met before filming? I mean, no. <laughs> is the answer to that. Do you know, for me, it was like, I was so put off by the body odor. You know, when you kind of walked in, I was like, Phew. it was just so yeah. much. In all seriousness, we did actually get on, and with Matthew as well, right from the offset. Actually, there was kind of banter and jokes um, right from the very first scene. We have a good old giggle. And we're both we Pisces. 
He's, we're both obsessed with our kids. My favorite one of all, though, is who is Stephen Cree? Who's Stephen Cree? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> How do you even answer that? Who, who are you, Stephen? I've been asking myself that for as long as I can ask that question. I still don't know. <laughs>